Arr, ladies and gents, this is your personal virus, and it is a pleasure for me to welcome you back to the first episode of the second season of our Monkey Island Let's Play. The clouds are hovering over the... I'm getting distracted already. <laughs> I'm sorry. We are playing part two of the game now. The Chuck's Revenge? I think it had a different title in German. I'm not sure, but let's jump directly into it. Well, well, well. Guy well. Brush Threepwood, you do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, mm. hi, Elaine. <laughs> uh, do you think you could help me out? How did you get into this mess? It's kind of a long story. Isn't oh, it? That's okay. I've got time. Uh, <laughs> well, it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. Deep in the Caribbean. Yeah. Scab Island. Scab Island. So I bust into the church and say, Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait. And then LeChuck <laughs> cries, Guybrush, have mercy. I I'm can't sure take it anymore. It I think I know how he must have felt. Yeah, if I hear this story one more time, I'm going to be <laughs> crying myself. Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No, bigger than that. <laughs> a beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. The biggest treasure of them all. <gasps> a treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. The one you piece. You mean, uh, I mean, big whoop? None yeah, other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. <laughs> now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either Maybe. way, we won't have to hear about LeChuck anymore. Alrighty. Here we go in a ha! second. Those guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. When I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. I can only charter a ship and get off this stinking island. All right, let's find the one, uh, the big whoop. <laughs> okay, part one, the Largo Embargo. I remember that one well. Loading screen. All right, so now, before we start, you can see this here in the top left corner, press A for audio commentary. And that is so awesome. You can do that in many, many scenes. Oh, let's we're going try into it. Don't go on that bridge. There's a oh, don't. Oh. <laughs> okay, but I'm gonna abort it. It's really, really cool. You um, basically hear what the creators of the game have to say about it, about the different scenes. Um, I won't be doing it in the let's play here. It's a let's play after all, right? So, for those of you who really love the game like me, you should definitely check it out. Definitely. I have a problem with that word. So, without any further ado, look at us. Yeah, we are rich, rich to no end. The controls are a bit different in that game, but we'll get to that after the next cutscene. Here we Where meet Largo. Where do you think you're going, fancy pants? Oh, we're still you fancy ain't pants. from these parts, are you? This is a toll bridge. You gotta pay. Alrighty. Um, is this some sort of bribe situation? Should I take my money? Who's gonna make me shirty? Pay for nothing. I'm a pirate. It doesn't matter what we say here, sadly, but we are mighty so. I don't pay for nothing. I'm a pirate. Tough guy, huh? Mm. <laughs> Help! Police! <laughs> Scream as loud as you want. <laughs> There's Look no the police details. on Scab Island. All the details. Um, okay. Then who keeps the law? Then who eats the donut? <laughs> Please, not my new coat. Okay, put me down and I won't hurt you. I want to know who eats the donuts. Then who eats the donuts and roughs up the transients? I rough someone needs roughing up on this side. Oh, I guess I should have known. Hey, you're loaded. This is my lucky night. What's he Remember, gonna do? Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Lago Legrand. Okay. Tough town. I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. <laughs> okay, we could do audio commentary again, but actually, yeah. 
However, he did it, but he stole all of that money. Now, what I found out by playing around with the controls, like, if you hold right-click, you see the options you have now for every interactable item. So we could look at... Welcome to Woodtick. No Trezor hunting zone. <laughs> all right. And you could pick, and I just by... Just by trying, I found out that you can actually... Oops, I think I broke the sign. Grab that shovel, and I'm pretty sure we will need that later on. And I think by pressing... Yeah, if I press both mouse buttons at the same time, do you see how that highlights? It's kind of a little help, which is cool. Really neat. All right, so let's explore this town. I remember quite a bunch, but not as much as I do from part one. Hi, dude. Um, I wanna... Oh my gosh. I wanna push you? No. Oh, ooh, this is difficult. <laughs> I don't want to pull you. I don't want to use you. I don't want to... Let's just talk with him. <clears throat> yeah. Hi, dude. Um, yeah. What's the problem with that Largo guy? He has he issues. He really goes against my grain. I'd like to make an end table out of him, but I don't have the guts. Oh. With all my tools, I'm still unable to create the one thing that could do this island some good. What like an all-night tattoo thing? parlor? No, <laughs> like a voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. Oh, oh, I remember that right. <laughs> I have to. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck no amount of wood since a woodchuck can't chuck wood. Oh, that is so technical. I'm disappointed. How do you look in fancy graphics? Oh, look at that. Huh. She looks way prettier in this. <laughs> what else do we have here? Oh, we're in the talking mode. Why are there little skulls in front? I did not know that. Um. <laughs> but if a woodchuck could chuck and would chuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? <laughs> even if a woodchuck could chuck wood, and even if a woodchuck would chuck wood, should a woodchuck chuck wood? <laughs> yes, he should. A woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I, love I it. just like to browse, thanks. Okay, but don't <laughs> touch anything. Oh, we've read that before. I can look, right? Nice, sturdy workbench. Everything's laid out just how I need it. Okay, okay, I get it. Oh, nails, I bet we need them. I can't move it. Mm -hmm. Didn't I say, oh no, not push pick? Get your hands away from there. Yeah, all I right. need all of them. All right, I... Pretty sure we have to grab some of his tools later and distract him for that. So much audio commentary, I can't wait to play the game again and listen to all of that, but it would. This let's play would get way too long if we did that. Yeah, yeah. I remember him! How, how was he called? W Wooly? Wally? Wally? Uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, yes. Hi there. Can I help you? Are you Wally? I am Gepper's third broad. Mm, I'm Guybrush, who are you? Yeah, who are Hi, you? I'm Guybrush. Who are you? Wally. Yes. Wally B. Feed. At your service. We'll meet him again in part three. Um, mm, I don't think we need anything here yet. Thanks. I gotta go. Okie dokie. We will need a map later on to get to the next island, I believe. Wait, can we, can we snatch his monocle? Hello. Hi. Never mind me. <laughs> we get. Hey, where's my monocle? I, I can't see a thing without my monocle. I'm sorry. I know it will be important Where later. Where is on. that thing? Oh, and we haven't checked it out in fancy graphics. Oh. I swear I put it right here. I feel. Oh, I feel sorry for him now. Let's. I hope I didn't leave. lose it. You'll get it back. I promise. Maybe. I actually, don't know if we will give it back to him. This is kind of a, like, washing your clothes thing, I believe. All right, what do we, oh, cute. Oh, isn't that cute? Yeah. Can we, no, we can't really do anything with it, okay. I could lose a finger doing that. Hi, dude. Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have one and it's full. <gasps> All right, Largo is there. Pretty mm. sure. Only one guest. Yes, but that dang Largo eats like 30. 
All right. I don't think we can... Hold it right there! Exactly. That's a private room. No going up there. Exactly, but we do have to... Wait, wait. Can he... I don't think I'd get away with that. Excuse hmm. me, I'd like a room, please. No, no, Sorry, no, no, no. we only we have one, and it's full. We know that already. Okay, I thought I could somehow convince him into letting me go there, because we will have to later on. Actually, it could be that we don't have to do anything around here just yet. Uh, that bucket. I do know that we can grab that bucket. Somehow. Alright, uh, for this guy we need some... Oh, it's a rat! Not the box, I want the... I can't. Okay, then inspect the box. Nice! That's <laughs> all I have to say. It won't fit in my pocket. Hmm. You had larger things in your pocket. Can I pick up that bucket? Hey, leave that alone. Why? Sorry, is this your bucket? Well, no. So you won't mind if I take it? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for complaining. What do we have here? Men of low moral fiber. Pirates. Okay. Fiber. Do you pronounce that fiber? Can I talk to them? Yo ho. Hi, dudes. What is it? Are you important? Uh, hi, long time no see. Remember me? I'm guy. Oh, are these the guys with with the rats from the first town? Is it them? Remember me? I'm Guybrush. Do we know you? I'm Guybrush Three. Put the mighty pirate. The the the, the Chuck PDA meeting. <laughs> I'm Guybrush. You tried to sell me the minutes of a PTA meeting in the last game, claiming it was a map. Map. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. It is no, the really. Why did you wake us up, Gorbush? Oh, that's rude. Uh, what happened to you, leg? Why are you up there? Is that your rat? Is that your rat? Yes. We call him Munster Monster because <laughs> of his insatiable passion for cheese. That's actually quite funny. What happened to your leg? It happened during a performance. That's what we do for a living now. Oh, you see, okay. after our circus failed. We started a pirate catering business on nearby Fat Island. I shouldn't a have asked. sacking lunch. Okay. It was quite lucrative. Okay. Uh, wait, are you still doing? Okay. Then what happened? The governor no. of the island no. made us an no. offer we, uh, <laughs> couldn't refuse. So, we sold him the business. Huh. Can I, um, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah? We sank the money into one of those newfangled glass bottom boats. Huh. We wanted to take passengers on sightseeing trips. Okay. And search for a place called Drinky Island in our oh. spare time. That Boy, did crazy. we ever want to get there. Aside from the obvious reason, we had inside information that Drinky was in fact the resting place of the legendary treasure of oh. Big Whoop. Oh, that's actually very helpful. Big Whoop? I'm looking for that, too. Well, I hope your luck is better than ours. You see, we got a bit of a raw deal on the boat. Uh. Seems the salesman didn't have any glass for the bottom, so uh. he just left a gaping hole there. <laughs> By the time we noticed, we were taking on water, fast. We ended up stranded on a tiny <laughs> desert island. <laughs> okay. Um. I think it's past my bedtime. We met a philosopher on the island, and he told mm. us something which changed our lives. Okay. Uh, what? What is it? What did he say? Tell me already. <laughs> he told us that all the world is a stage and that we are merely players. Okay. So, we became performance artists. When he lost the leg, oh. Frank was brilliantly showing the inseparability of the path man walks oh. from the food chain. Okay. The symbolism of the cheese was essential. You know... This leg is looking sort of dingy. Would you get some polish over at the woodsmiths and polish it for me? Oh, okay, okay. Why not? Give me money for the polish. Okay. Well, that... That... See you later. Okay. We can scarcely contain our anticipation. That was... Hmm, useful after all. But I could have done without all that rambling, you know. Well, we have our first task. Audio commentary. All over the place, loving it. 
Right, right, right. Woodchuck guy. Um, talk. <clears throat> yeah. Nice apron. Could I buy some wood polish? Yes, yes, yes. That's one piece of eight. Anything uh -huh. else? No, not right now. I'd just like to browse, thanks. Okay. But don't touch anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it, Chipetto. Dude. <laughs> Why is everyone so aggravated? Now, I don't think we actually have to polish his leg, and I kind of feel strange about doing that. But let's do it. Oh, down there, I see what I can actually do with it. Yeah, use wood polish on peg leg. Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Oh, okay. Neat. We are doing the right thing here. Oh, we can't do anything with that guy yet. Pretty sure about it. We got the bucket. Let's check out what's inside this ship. Oh, there's a little froggy. Getting distracted again. Looks like a bar. Uh, I naturally want to check out what's behind the door, but let's first talk to him. Excuse me. Hi. Yeah, boy? Uh, how's business? How's, how's business? business? It's just terrible. Ooh. No one ever comes down here anymore. I'm here. Largo's got all my regulars spooked. You know, uh, I can mix any drink there is. Make anything you could name. But I can't make the one thing that could really do this island some good. What's that? A, A voodoo, voodoo doll. doll of Largo Legrand. There he you comes. There. Uh oh. Give me my usual and put it in a real glass. A real glass? What's the. Fork over the dough or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. <laughs> From your nose. That's all I have. Well, you better have more tomorrow. Or we might have to move this dump to a new location. Like, say, the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Boy, you just gave him all your money? I don't want to talk about it. Um, I did not need to see that in slow motion. I don't want to touch it with my hands. Okay, we we will need it, but I think we need a tissue first or something. What's that? It reads Jojo, appearing nightly, no cover charge. Okay, can I pick that up? No thanks. Too many bad memories of piano lessons. <laughs> can we use it? Oh cool, it's on now. Use the piano. I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. Oh, okay, pick that up. Better leave it there. Don't want to hurt business. Okay, can we go through that door? Hey! Hired help not. only! I want to be hired. Hire me, now. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Uh, please. Want to see my scar? Hmm. Want to see my scar? Depends. Is there a good <laughs> story behind it? As a matter of fact, there is. It's a story of the ghost oh, pirate gosh. LeChuck and his gruesome demise. Heard it. This is the one where he <laughs> drinks too much root beer and burps so hard he explodes, right? Uh, not exactly. Close. Frankly, I don't care much for stories that promote moderation in drinking. I do have a business to run, you know. Grog, please. Let's try that Shake then. Shake not stirred. <laughs> Maybe you'd like a Shirley Temple instead. Let's say I'm Shirley old enough. Temple. Look at my beard. Ha! That's the oldest trick in the book. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll let you have some near grog. Doesn't have any alcohol in it, but it's just as nasty smelling and foul tasting as that stuff grown ups drink. <laughs> right on. Okay. Oh, wait. What am I saying? I just sold the last of it to Kate. Sorry. Rats. Who of course, if you have now? some ID. ID. Who's this Kate person you mentioned? Ah, the courageous Captain Kate Capsize. <laughs> Tough as steel, sharp as nails. Okay. She rents her ship out, does some <sighs> freelance pirating. Her oh. only loyalty is to the highest bidder. Don't get on her bad side. Sounds good to me. Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. Okay, well, sounds to me like we just found ourselves a ship. It won't be ours, but we can rent it. That's something. And I think for now that's actually all we have to do in here. Let's leave the place. I remember there are some swamp lands or something. Fancy graphics. Mm-hmm. Scab Island. Oh, there's a cemetery. 
Spooky. Yeah, this the swamp. Here's the village. There is the beach. What shall we explore? What? 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 Pin. Pin. I can't pronounce that. Peninsula. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let's go to the spooky place. I'm scared. Are you scared? I'm scared. Scared. Good. Oh, and we have a shovel. Hmm. I feel kind of really... Okay, yeah, that doesn't help. <laughs> okay, no, that doesn't help at all. Um, Stands casual crosses for graves that don't need to dress up. Uh, I'm not sure if you remember Stan, but I sure do. Open the tomb, are you... It looks like it's been sealed shut. Okay, close the crypt, is it open? It's locked shut with a big rusty lock. Okay. It looks like it's been sealed shut. Okay. It looks like it's been sealed shut. Not too surprised. Uh, did we inspect that? I'm not sure. More graves? It looks like it's been sealed shut. Okay, tombstones. Inspect them. These spots reserved for our privileged future customers. <laughs> Alrighty. Now we're up there. Grave. Nice. You think so? Marco Largo Legrand. Hell on <gasps> sea or sand. The good news is he's dead. We need the that. The bad news is he bred. We need that. Um, I'm actually going ahead of the story here, but maybe he'll do it. This is creepy feeling. Oh, he will do it. Actually interesting that you can do it before you even know why you would do it. That was spooky. <laughs> I'd swear on my grandfather's grave, something <laughs> weird is going on. With that we just got ourselves the first ingredient of the voodoo doll. Oh my gosh, it's still bloody and oh my gosh, but look at us, we have a neat beard. Um, I think we will go to the swamp now before I get things messed up in order even more and we will talk to the swamp lady, the voodoo lady who lives there. We met her in part one already. Let's check it out, check it out. Oh, and then we are almost at the time to end the episode already. Why does time fly so fast with this game? I'm <laughs> loving it so much. Um, Use the coffin? Okay, he really is using the coffin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe time flies so fast because I get distracted so easily, but this is cool. Oh, spooky, spooky. Hi there. Hi. Don't eat me. Of course you would eat me. That is a cool way to enter a building. I want to build it in Minecraft now. Pick it up. Well, it appears to be bolted to the table. Pick it up. I'll well, just take a little. Yes. Pick it up. <laughs> no thanks. I don't need it. Mm, Alright, let's go to the voodoo lady. Guy brush three wood. She looks strange. It's been a long time since you last came to see me. Not that long for me. Mm, I'm not sure... Well, I'd like to have my fortune read. I see a hard road for you, Guybrush. Of course Things you would. Things didn't get easy for you when you defeated LeChuck, did they? People only wanted more. You had to keep more proving more. yourself over and over. Okay. The pressure kept mounting until you lost it all. Your fame, your fortune, you the one famous. you love. Okay, that's enough. Oh, so, right, he got in trouble with Elaine and they kinda, they don't like each other right now. Um, how's business? How's business? Very good. Many hexes this week. Saved many people from the evil eye. Okay. Made many pieces of eight. Although Largo took most of them. Oh, pity. Tell me about this Largo guy. Please He's a do. weak little man who bullies this whole island around. Most people are afraid of him, 
because he was once LeChuck's right-hand man. Oh, he was? Yeah, but LeChuck's history! I got rid of him myself! True evil can never be destroyed completely. How you pessimistic. will see. Okay... Why don't you just put a curse on Largo? Right I've direction. tried. My most powerful magic lies in voodoo dolls. Do but one... to make an effective doll, I need some items from Largo's person. Mm -hmm. And no one's brave enough to go get them for me. I already have one. I already have one. What kind of ingredients do you need for the doll? Are you willing to help me make one? Uh, sure. Maybe. To make it work, you need to bring me some personal artifacts of the victim. Mm -hmm. One from each of the four basic voodoo groups. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Hey, right. that almost rhymes. <laughs> For the thread, I need a piece of Lago's clothing. Oh, she even and tells us. And a lock us. of hair will do for the head. Bring me a sample of fluid from his body we and from his dead relatives. You must acquire some remnant of a corpse. We have Here, that. take the shopping list. Oh, convenient. Thanks. Do you have any of those ingredients with you? Oh, we so sure do. I have the bone of his grandfather. Perfect. Have you brought me any other ingredients? No, I'm nope. sorry. Could you tell me what they were again? No, just you don't have like to. Just like the list. I just avoided that. We don't need to hear it again. Uh, episode is running a bit. Let's do one more thing. All right? One more thing. I need to make some progress here. I mean, we did make some progress. Uh, can we actually access the swamp itself? I wonder. Like. Swamp, yeah, because I think we have to, and I don't know what we need it for, but I think we have to do this. Wow, a whole bucket of mud. And it's mine. All mine. Okay. He is very happy about the bucket of mud. <laughs> um, yeah, I only remember parts of it. So the beach we've seen in the very beginning, we have to enter the lighthouse later. Let's check out this, this thing here. <laughs> And then we'll end it for today. Peninsula. Peninsula. There's a sign. What you saying? It says, and I quote, Captain Dredd's ship charters. 20 Great. pieces of eight. Inquire within. Great. What do we have? Oh, we have one piece of eight. <laughs> hmm. Fancy graphics. Neat. Come on, hurry up. Oh, why would you build it like that? This is so inconvenient. Um, dude, you with me? Are you Captain Dread? Yeah, man, I'm Captain Dread. <laughs> yeah, what man. can I do for you? <laughs> wow. He looks really detailed. Cool. Um, I need to try to ship Netty Dread. <laughs> I need to charter a ship. I can't charter you my ship because. A while ago, huh? I lost my lucky sailing necklace. I called it sailing. my eye that has seen the world. Okay. I can't sail without it. No way, man. Besides, that mean and nasty guy Largo, he has an embargo on the island. Oh. No ships can sail in or out without his approval. Right. There's no way he would let me leave. Um. Tell me more about that necklace thing yes, you please. lost. It happened some time ago. Oh, My navigator and I set sail for this legendary island. Huh? When we arrived, we were taken prisoner by cannibals. I, I escaped, man. That. But my navigator was not so lucky. All I found of him was one of his eyeballs. And oh. I kept it as a good luck jar. That is... That is... <laughs> Gee, I think I've met your friend. Unlikely. We actually had his head in our oh my god uh all right i gotta run lots of treasure hunting to do okay bye man come again bye man <laughs> that sounds pretty german like man that's what you say for a man like you don't say mom you say man but yet still all right we will end the episode here we know what to do we need a voodoo doll of largo legrand l a like la stands for is the female, like, 
French, la, that's for female things. Why is he called la? Uh, anyways, getting distracted again. <laughs> this was your personal virus. I hope I, I'm doing it again. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I know that I did. Why do I hope for that? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope I will see you in the next one and I hope I got you infected.